Hey yo, in today's vlog for Mage Game 2000, I wanted to show you guys our sprint system. We have a float variable called stamina, a float variable called speed, and a float variable called target speed. And basically the sprint button kind of works like a gas pedal. It sets your target speed to the highest speed possible, which is 240. And then it takes the speed you're at <clears throat> target speed and it lurks between those two values over a specified time period. I have it set to like two and a half seconds right now. And then I have this function that's running in the physics process and it reads the speed as it's lurping and decides if it should play the walk animation, the jog animation, or the run animation. And we can see that in process. Right now you'll see here I have 100 stamina. My speed is at 100 and my target speed's at 100 because I'm just walking around. If I press my sprint button, my target speed goes to max speed, which is 240, and my stamina starts to deplete. Once my stamina is depleted, I can't sprint anymore, so I will fall back to about 170 as I try to sprint as my stamina rebuilds. So I'll only be able to jog until I walk for a while and let that stamina rebuild. I haven't totally decided on all the uh, numbers and definitely part of game progression will be getting better at sprinting. But what I can't decide on right now is if the player should have a sprint gauge so he can tell how much sprint he has left or if he should just pant. So uh, maybe you guys can help me out in the comments.